supplements with water. This doesn't refer to us. What are the properties of water? Uh, what is the main properties of water? Soluble, this insoluble. And what are the things are solved and dissolved? Okay. How it is? Some of the things will flow and zip. Is it? So, how does it solve? All those things are happen here. Let's see this. Uh, properties of water. What are the things? Floating and zipping the first thing. Then solve and dissolve. Dissolve means uh, and dissolve means dissolve. Not dissolve. Okay. Then effect of heat. Uh, some of the things we will make are make to the boil. Uh, daily as a daily we are getting a hot water bottle nowadays. Is it because of the winter season? That's why we are getting the uh, we are making the water to boil at the same time. Have you listened that some of the things uh, like uh, some fog, like a fog, it will come out um, upper of the vessel. Is it? So what is the thing that is the called evaporation? What is the thing that is called as a evaporation? So uh, do using the evaporation method, we are getting some of the drying cloths. If we have a too much of a uh, wet cloth, if we make it as a uh, we put in onto the uh, hot water, if you and you we have to rinse and everything, we have to do well. After that, if you see the thing, it will be made it as soon to dry. It is make us to soon dry. That is the thing only dry cloths. Okay, then the second one is C. From the sea only we are getting the salt. Is it? So, how does it happen the salt thing? Using the evaporation. Using the evaporation. So, second one. Dissolve and do not salt. So, what is the thing? Uh, how does we will consider in this to soluble and insoluble? Soluble and insoluble. For the example of soluble, salt, sugar, milk. Okay. Then insoluble. Sand, stone, tea leaves, and it will tea powder, coffee powder, coffee powder it will be salt, but tea powder it's not to be salt. So that is called an insoluble. Then second first one is floating and sinking. How does it happen into the thing? Uh, use uh, the shape of object, then density of the object, then capacity, and the, how does it is a uh, have a salt? in the water. Let me do an experiment now. Ok students, you can understand what is the thing of soluble, what are the things are insoluble and everything. Ok, let me do the things. Ok children, now you just see, I put a stone, I put a stone now, I put a stone, what is happening? It is the zinking, it is zinking. Mulgirichu. Okay, then I put chalk. What is happening? First, it's to be zinc. Then, it's being a, sorry, float and then zinc. And see this, this is also zinc. Then see this one. This is also zinc. Okay, then I made it a ship paper boat. See, it is Float. It's being float. Is it? So this is how does it happen? You know, the object which I am using here for the thing density and capacity. Okay, shape of an object and how does it hand occupy in it? Okay, the second process is what are the things are soluble and insoluble? Soluble. For example, now I am taking a salt. I poured a little. What is happening now? Now I really, I make it is some rinse. Now you see, the, where is the salt now? Where is the salt now? It's to be soluble. Then second, I put some sugar now. I put some sugar. See? One time I mix it. Now you just see. 
the sugar also more over soluble soluble now salt these are to be dissolved now at the same time for insoluble example i put a stone it's not soluble then i put some chalk powder i put chalk powder then i put leaf what is happening those things are insoluble then tea powder everything insoluble see see the place the insoluble things are visible the sand then stone then leaf those and all what insoluble like that you just do it in your home okay let's find what are the things are soluble and insoluble everything okay remember the points well the st okay students it will help you for while reading the lesson thank you